Hi everybody, this is Tia from Jellyfish Creations and I wanted to share uh, a project with you. This is a an altar box that I made for my sister. At Christmas I made her an altered journal which she said that she was going to use as a prayer journal. So I wanted to make a box for her to keep that in um, and maybe just anything else she might have from her Bible studies or things that she wanted to keep together. So this is actually a really large box. Um, it's the largest box I've seen at Michael's. They normally run, I don't remember what it's called, it's some type of photo box. But I know it runs about um, $19.99, but I had a 50% off coupon. So I used uh, some Recollections flowers and some I Am Roses up here uh, in the corners and some Ribbon Roses uh, saw resin roses, pearls from my stash. I glimmer misted these flowers. Um, I don't have a lot of colors of flowers and I don't have a lot of glimmer mist, but it seems like between the white flowers and the little bit of glimmer mist I have, it worked out perfectly. This is actually a keychain that I found at Joann's on clearance. I thought it was so pretty and at the time that I bought it, I didn't know what I would use it for, but um, I thought it was perfect to put on this box because since she is the daughter of uh, the king, I wanted her to be a princess. So I put this here and then she had asked me in particular to use uh, something regarding faith on it. So uh, I made this chipboard tag here and it's inside of a vellum envelope. The paper line is the, oh, I can't remember, but it's the color box line that they had at Joann's not too long ago. It's something papery. And inside is a chipboard piece that I made that says, don't tell God how big your problems are. Tell your problems how big God is. And there's an angel on the top, which is, um, a bead charm that I bought at Joann's recently when they had their 50% off bead sale. And then on the back, I stamped, uh, Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. And that was a quote from Martin Luther King. So that just fits inside of this little envelope here, which I can't get it in with my one hand. And then I just have some flat back pearls here, another cross, uh, charm here. I have a scripture verse from Luke 11 here, uh, Luke 11, 1 through 4, where it talks about um, it's um, the Father's prayer, Jesus' prayer, uh, when he teaches the disciples how to pray. And then this is some trim here that I got from a local craft store we have called Pearl, and they are clearancing out all of their trims. I don't think they're going to be selling them anymore. So I had picked this up a while ago. Uh, it's a like a ribbon rose trim. And then it has some tool intertwined through the trim. And then this is just some one to scrap pearls. And here I glossy accented the leaves on the flowers. And then there are just some other trims I got here. This one is from Mona Me Gabby that I got a few years ago from the um, Scrapbook Expo. Uh, and then I edged that around the box. And then I also put this lace trim. And I'm not doing so great with camera work tonight, but uh, I hope you can get the idea. And then the inside of my box, I just use another piece of paper from the paper line and I use some stickles to accent some of the flourishes that were already in the paper just to give it a little definition. I outlined the uh, dress form here with stickles. And then up in the corner, I stamped Count Your Blessings with a butterfly stamp that I had gotten from Michael's a while ago. I think everybody had them for a while. And again, I just outlined uh, the butterflies with a little glimmer mist. And then I used that same trim 
along the inside of the box. So it's very simple. I wanted her to have plenty of room uh, to keep her journal, to keep a pen. She loves pretty pens and things like that. So I know she's going to keep a pen in here. And then I just I painted the box with a combination of uh, white and gold. So it really just kind of gave it this old vintagey look and it's it's thinned in some places and thicker in others so um it looks a little worn which I like. It's very soft. The colors of the box are very soft and then I have up here in the corner a pen that I made with the beads that I got from the hall downtown. So that is my altar box. I hope you guys enjoy and you have a wonderful evening. Thanks. Bye.